Hey everyone, Evelyn here, and uh, this is just a quick look at my um, perfume collection. I keep it on this utility cart next to my Alex drawers where I keep all my, ooh that looks messy, makeup and stuff. I just wanted to show you briefly before I go into video one of my um, perfume collection series uh, to show you what it looks like. It's not perfect. I've got some stuff under there. <laughs> it's not perfect, but this is real life. This is how I store it. Um, I'm going to go over the top shelf in this video, and then we'll hit the other shelves in probably their own videos. There's a lot to cover, and uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I can talk a lot, so <laughs> I want to take this in sections. Anyway, um, I hope that you enjoy this. Um, as you can see, when I say I'm going, you know, that I'm on a no-buy and that I'm trying to shop my stash, you can see why, especially with regard to fragrance at least, why I should be doing that. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, there are surely fragrances that I want, but nothing that I truly need, right? And none of this is essential. It's all a luxury as far as I'm concerned, and I want to start being more grateful for it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into this. Shelf one, here we go. I guess I'll start from the front. This one is Dolce Garden, and um, it's a really nice summer scent. I used to have this and then I bought it at Ulta and I returned it and then a couple years later I was ready for it and I missed it so I picked it up on Mercari for a really good deal. But anyway, it's um, sort of a sunscreen, suntan lotion type of a scent, very heavy on the coconut. I think it also has almond and vanilla, really good. I love this one. I have a lot of the Britney Spears fantasy flankers. Um, this one is Rocker Femme. This mainly features blackberry and whipped cream and it is delicious. Super good. This is VIP Private Show from Britney Spears. Very um, heavy on the berries. It kind of reminds me of Gold Couture if you were to remove the caramel note and you just isolate the berries in it. It also kind of reminds me of Kool-Aid. <laughs> This is a body spray, uh, but it's from Soap and Glory. It's in their original pink scent. The original pink scent has bergamot, it has rose and gardenia, among other things. This is super feminine smelling, very floral, and remind, reminds me a lot of Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is a current favorite. This is Angel Muse, the Eau de Toilette. Very much like the EDP, but I think it's lighter and easy to wear. There's passion fruit in here, and I think that's a really interesting note. It makes this juicy and delicious in the opening, but you still have the chocolate and the hazelnut and the vetiver, so I love this. This is Simply Pink by Pink Sugar, and I do have the original here as well, so I guess I'll show both. So pink, um, the original pink sugar is like cotton candy, it's vanilla, caramel, strawberry, licorice, there's a lot going on in this. And um, simply pink is sort of like pink sugar light. <laughs> and I would say pink sugar that is more wearable and more summery. Um, this still has licorice and praline and a bunch of other stuff, but I think raspberry and almond are more of the focus and it doesn't have that sort of burnt sugar, caramelized sugar that a lot of people didn't like about this one. I happen to like both. I love this one more, but just saying. This is L'Imperatrice 3 by Dolce & Gabbana, and it is mostly watermelon and rhubarb. Um, they're kind of the stars in this. It doesn't last that long, but it is an eau de toilette after all. Um, but it's so likable and refreshing in the summer. This is Prada Candy. I love it. You have caramel and musk, benzoin, and uh, a cosmetic powder note. Super good. I feel like people love this or hate this or they're sick of it. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I freaking love this one. Here's the classic Britney Spears Fantasy. I have the original formula, as you can tell by the um, Swarovski crystals around the cap. This is delicious. White chocolate, cupcake, lychee, kiwi, a whole bunch of other goodness. Super good. Very yummy. Can you guys tell I like gourmands? <laughs> I'm trying to branch out, but oh my gosh. This is Private Show from Britney Spears, and mainly what I get is like a caramel latte 
you know what I don't think there's caramel on this I think it's dulce de leche it's very sweet very lactonic creamy so good this is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I'm not sure if I would repurchase this. It is really good. I mean, it's caramel and berries and vanilla. It's very, very good. Sorry about the glare. But I don't know. I, I'm going to enjoy it while I have it. But we've had a good run. I, I don't know if I would repurchase. This is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This, to me, is what I would describe as hyper, hyper feminine very girly, luscious flowers in the heart, burst of citrus in the opening, strong patchouli and vanilla in the base. This is beautiful. I think it's timeless. I have to be in the mood for it though. And spring is when I'm in the mood for it most. Next, this is uh, Insolence from Guerlain. This is um, violet and iris and red berries and I think it also has heliotrope. It's very beautiful. It kind of reminds me of a very luxurious bubble bath. It has that kind of smell to it. Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf. My little plate fell off and I had to glue it back on. I promise you this is a real bottle, but yes, I had to glue it on. Um, this is gorgeous. Everyone knows Flower Bomb. It's very likable and I really enjoy it. Bon Bon from Victor and Rolf. I prefer this to Flower Bomb. This is Mandarin Orange and Peach and Caramel, which I think works so well together. I love how juicy this is. It doesn't have really big projection like some of my other perfumes and like Flower Bomb, but I just catch whiffs of this throughout the day and I love that peach and caramel um, combination. It's beautiful. And this bottle is like stunning. This is Jimmy Choo Blossom and there's a lot in here, but mostly I just get raspberry. It is very delicious. I could see myself wearing this a lot in the summer. Very fresh and just easy to wear. This is Amo Ferragamo uh, by Ferragamo. And this is like an orange creamsicle, but way more sophisticated. <laughs> um, it is very cozy. And I think the base, the, the star of this is Campari, which I believe is an orange flavored liqueur, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a really good one. This is an old favorite. This is DKNYB Delicious. I do have the cat, but I took it off so you wouldn't see me. <laughs> um, I love this, and you can see how much I've, I've worn it and used it. I love it. Green apple, lily of the valley, sandalwood. I think there's jasmine. It's so pretty. It's so good. Love it. Jessica Simpson Fancy Nights. This is a what I consider a cold vanilla. It doesn't have a warm gourmand feel. It's not accompanied by caramel and things like that. This is a green cold vanilla uh, patchouli papyrus vanilla. So good. Very enchanting. <laughs> You're probably still gonna see me in this bottle. I freaking swear. Oh well. Agent Provocateur, pure aphrodisiac. This is tuberose, jasmine, and most of all, juicy pear. I know the bottle's weird. I know. I know. Just trust me on that one. It's good. This is Prada Candy Gloss. Uh, very beautiful tart cherry fragrance. I love this one so much. This is Pink Sugar Sensual. I guess I'll open it. So I just have the little guy of this one. It actually smells a lot like Britney Spears Fantasy. More like the newer formula without the heavy white chocolate in it where it's more fruity with like a little bit of vanilla. Ellis Brooklyn Sci-Fi. This is so simple. Green tea, vanilla, bergamot, and cashmere. And it's th one of the coziest things I own. Love it. This is Forest Lily from Avon, and this is old. I found this on Mercari, and I mean, look at how yellow that juice is. <laughs> this is old. It's from the 90s, um, but I smelled this one time at a department store, and I used to own it when I was little, and I just, I wanted it back. I'm not sure it's my thing anymore. It's quite green, but I'm willing to give it a chance, and I mean, it's here to stay. It's a part of my past. 
This is Cloud from Ariana Grande. I keep it in the cloud because I actually really love that, but here's the bottle. <laughs> this is so good, you guys. Praline, coconut. I'm sure there's other stuff, but it's so likable and interesting and complex. One of the more interesting um, celebrity scents that I've smelled, and I just was thoroughly impressed. I didn't want to like it, but I, I really do. Angel Eau Sucre by Moogler. Love this. Red berries and meringue, a little bit of caramel, and I think patchouli, I'm not quite sure. Super good. Love it. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This is newer to my collection, um, but I'm really looking forward to wearing this. Um, yeah, I, I know I'm going to really enjoy this. Fresh, very citrusy, and a little woody. This is Lolita Lempica by Lolita Lempica. And this to me, along with Fancy Nights, they're like the two most enchanting forest, uh, foresty fragrances that I have. This has a lot of violet and heliotrope, vanilla. There's um, cherry, I think there's almond and licorice. It's beautiful. Laura Mercier Eau Gourmand Vanille. Really love this. Heavy dose of vanilla. Not much more to it, but it's great on its own. Super cozy and really nice layering too if you want van more vanilla from anything else you're wearing. Classic. This is Hane Mori, and I haven't really had a chance to truly form my opinion about this, but it, it immediately reminds me of L'Estant from Guerlain, and I'm not sure how it manages to do that because they don't have much in common as far as their notes go, but it reminds me of a much more wearable L'Estant from Guerlain. This is 100 Bon Amaretto and Frambois Poudre. You don't know how many times I had to try and say that. Oh my gosh. It's from 100 Bon. This I bought purely because it smells like amaretto. I love amaretto, like as a drink, I love it. And amaretto sour is like my signature drink. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this yet, but I had to get it and it was relatively affordable. And for it being a clean fragrance, I'm really impressed by the price point. This is Fantasy Intimate Edition. Um, it is really, it smells a little bit like the original Fantasy, but um, mostly it's about, um, it has an airiness and a freshness to it. Um, there's a brown sugar note in here as well, and a um, almost a lactonic kind of feel too. Very interesting, very cozy, great, great, great palette cleanser if you're super tired of wearing something and it's making you sick to your stomach. Take a shower, put this on, you'll thank me later. Shalimar Souffle de Lumiere. This is really beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a soda float, the way it smells. Um, like lemon lime soda with maybe sherbet or something in it. I don't know, but very beautiful, likable. I can't wait to wear this in the spring. This is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, but it's the Eau de Toilette. And um, it smells a lot like the original Jimmy Choo signature, I guess, but it is missing the... Um, it's missing the toffee note and a lot of the patchouli, I think. There is a ginger note instead, so this is very bright and zesty. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one, but I wanted to give it a chance because I thought the um, Eau de Parfum was a little too much for me. This is such a favorite. This is Burberry Brit for her. It has green almond and pear, a bunch of other stuff I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's so likable, fresh sweet, wearable, so good. All right, we have finished the top row, so um, I'm gonna move on to the second shelf in another video, but I wanted to say thanks so much for watching, and um, I would encourage you to share with me in the comments below uh, what your scent of the day is, or anything else you'd like to talk about, let me know. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.